Hello everyone and welcome back to the Steel Donut. My name is Matt and with me today is Bob. Hey, how's it going? This is my new intro line. And Yella. Good day. And guys, I almost forgot to do my use intro line. <laughs> guys, uh, that's pretty bad, Bob. But you know what's even worse? I have a real, real bad problem, okay? I what's just, what's, I can't be arrogant. I've been trying yeah, you are and trying to be boy. an arrogant ass. I mean, just arrogant, just arrogant in general. I don't want to be an asshole. Yeah. But like, I can't do it. Um, I mean, and yeah, you guys you're too much of a me... sweet boy. You're kind of a pussy, yeah. Yeah, mm. you guys told me you had a wiki article to help me with this. Well, right? you see, mm -hmm. yeah, true. I mean, there is this really great, great, I mean, just amazing, great, great air quotes around the word great here. <laughs> wiki how article on how to be an ass, to the, I mean, arrogant hole. Yeah. <laughs> how to be an <laughs> arrogant hole. You still hole. Had said hole. <laughs> you still ended on a hole. Yes. Yeah, an arrogant hole. <laughs> How to be an arrogant Because that's the only place yeah. where you belong after I mean, like, you I mean, act I just, like I'm, this. I'm a, but, yeah. too much of a bitch, you know? I just can't be arrogant. But Well, yeah. you, know what, you know what? We should Here's talk about... Well, I mean, to start, we should really figure out what arrogance is. So, right. arrogance is typically thought of as a character flaw. But properly mm -hmm. executed, arrogance can give you a competitive magnetic edge in your personal magnetic. and professional relationships. Magnetic? Mm -hmm. Magnetic. Yeah. Everybody you, loves hanging out with arrogant people. <laughs> you can learn Fact. to be competitive in all layers of your life. Bride I don't with want the best to of them be competitive in all sure, layers of my life. And make sure your arrogance doesn't tip over into being a total jerk. <laughs> so it's important. Hi, you just important. need self-respect. Get yeah, off cause... your high horse, Wiki Hell. You're the one that's telling me how to be a jerk. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you, your arrogance... Not tipping over into total jerkdom, that, that just sounds like self-respect. Which, yeah, is pretty important. Which I, is good. I don't think, the, however, Ooh. this is how you get it. But we'll figure it out. Let's, let's just start All at right. the beginning. Alright, step one of part one, walking the walk. Be the best. And can I just say, seventh place is not best. <laughs> <laughs> and don't even try to tell that? me that's a first place. That's clearly that seventh That is not place. a first That is, it's either a first it's either a seven or that's just like it's an, an upside, upside down, down v oh, oh i, was I gonna thought say it's an upside down l i was thinking it was an a that wasn't even complete like not a <laughs> crossbar a exactly that's a tiny tiny metal where are you supposed to hang that your belt loop <laughs> <laughs> it's I mean, not going around your neck you're gonna choke i mean you could you could wear it as a really loose bracelet <laughs> <laughs> Chad, that is tacky <laughs> Anyways, number one, be the best. Carve it's a whole lot easier to be in your chest. <laughs> it's a whole lot easier to be arrogant about something if you're the best in the room. The less you have to prove your arrogance, the better off and more convincing you have to prove your arrogance. The better I'm arrogant. Off you, and I'll more... prove to you how arrogant I am. Wait, wait. The better off and more. <laughs> Didn't even get what you were getting at. Yeah. The better off and more convincing your verbal brags will be down the road. How are you? supposed to be a jerk you're verbally bragging to people you're, right, you're right. literally telling us to brag so i mean what well they haven't told us me to yet. be they like it's like all right so walk me through this i come into the room and i'm like what's up you motherfuckers how many of you are as cool as me right that's what i'm supposed to do right well you well, gotta you have at to least... be the best first Oh, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I gotta be the to... coolest motherfucker, then I well, can brag about you it, may... right? I don't know whether you're the coolest motherfucker. Like, you're definitely the sweetest, so I would okay. st start oh, with that. Yeah, I can start from bragging about how sweet I am. Right. Oh, so yeah. go ahead and try it out for us. All right, all right. What's up, everyone? I'm the sweetest boy in the room. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good introduction. <laughs> Maybe you should. I, I want to hire. Make, I mean, maybe you should sits make down that. for a job interview and is like, "Hi, I'm really sweet." <laughs> no, <laughs> not, sweet you boy. gotta be the best, though. You gotta be like, "Hi, I'm, I'm the sweetest." sweetest. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, they I, have like I a cup of coffee and they're like, "Oh, did you want some sugars?" And just dip your fingers in there. <laughs> now it's sweet. <laughs> I'm the sweetest. Yeah. Well, at least now yeah. we know. Now we know what your new intro line should be, uh, Matt. Should you ever change it? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm the sweetest. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to the Steel Donut. With me today is Matt. I'm the sweetest. <laughs> I thought there was going to be I'm a man of magic. <laughs> Often we think of arrogance as being part of a comp of competition in sports or in office environments, but it also applies to social interactions, lifestyle, relationships, and other areas of life. I actually think of arrogance as being more applicable in social interactions, lifestyle, and relationships. Yeah, then... Like, I think of it... 
it's more irritating to me. If it's in air, in sports or in the office, well, in the office, it's also pretty irritating. But, like, in sports, I don't care. Yeah, like, if you are really good at sport, like, if you can do a sport Like, I'm not really a football well, player. If you're cocky about being a good football player, I mean, good job on throwing ball real good. But, I like... Mean, I, I mean, it already says be the best. If you are the best at sports, then you are very much allowed, I think, to brag about how good you are at sports. Right. I mean, Strive you to be deserve the best it. in everything... Strive to be the best in everything you do. That's good everything. Enough. Train everything. hard and devote your time to whatever craft you hope to excel in. Arrogance just comes across like ignorance if bra- if you're bragging about something you don't even fully understand or practice. That is definitely true. I you, just arrogance, <laughs> arrogance when you don't know what you're talking about is ignorance. <laughs> yeah, I mean, All- yeah. However, like the problem I just have with this whole thing is they are calling it arrogance. Arrogance, by definition, is not a very positive thing. Like we said at the beginning, self-respect, that's the good thing. Yeah. Like, this is, this is you know, you know how they say, you know, you can never have too much of a good thing? But you can. Too much yeah, definitely self-res- can. Yep. Too much self-respect turns into arrogance, and so a good, too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing. Yeah. Ugh. What are we doing first? Number two. Oh, Matt. Oh. oh Step two of thing. being arrogant is to get rid of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> just well, just wear, just wear a lot of puffy, uh, uh like, padding <laughs> under your clothes. Just, just have, just have is somebody that push your... a woman? I yeah. believe so, yes. Man, just her push-up somebody... bra is pushing her breast right off her chest. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's pushing also... it right into her neck. Yeah, God. like it's it's not that her head was pushed down; it's that her chest was pushed up. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like it's like her chest is being pushed off her body. It's like gonna envelop her head in a moment. <laughs> she has no she has no clavicle at all. It's just <laughs> she's got no neck, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's got no neck. <laughs> she's just a head on shoulders. Yeah, That's and if her and up. if her shoulders get any higher, they're gonna start. They're gonna absorb her chin. I mean, no, yeah. Well, I mean, her shoulders. <laughs> sometimes when she lifts her arms, her shoulders just go right into her ears. <laughs> like this is. Who drew this and thought this was okay? Maybe she's like a little turtle person. Somebody, what is this? I mean, definitely somebody who thought that this represented step two: develop a commanding presence. That's the yeah. that's a commanding presence, all right. It's commanding. It's I mean, do you see how wavy her hair away. is? It's. <laughs> That's a command. <laughs> what you in look the away flip? in shame because you're not arrogant enough, Matt. That looks. Mm. That looks. In, that. What? Uh, <laughs> wow, we're we're barely in, and we already broke Matt. I New feel record. like I feel like it can't get worse than this. Like this has got to be the worst looking one. Of like worst well, week. No, absolutely to, not. I can guarantee the that. Picture. This has got to be the second worst thing I've ever. Oh seen. no no no! There were worse things in this article. What? The, oh my! God. <laughs> we'll get there. I we'll guarantee. Get there. We'll get there. For now, step two: develop a commanding presence. Even if people don't like you, they need to take notice when you walk into a room. Fuck you! Ah, oh, this guy. <laughs> Have a God yeah, damn they're it! They're gonna take notice of you, all right? They're gonna be like, "Oh, it's that asshole again." <laughs> yeah, they, you walk into the room and everybody just files out. <laughs> well, maybe it's because you like. Well, party's you, over, everyone. Maybe it's because you have no neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's neck- Jesus. There is neck. You have like lady you have like again. a mouth like a snapping turtle, and you keep eating the fish out of like the bowl. You know. <laughs> You're like, hey, hey, guys, I'm uh, I'm the best at what I do, and then everyone's just like, yeah, but you don't have a neck, and every time I look at you, I want to vomit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go over the fish bowl, can't look and you. you're like, and you like snapping turtle neck comes out, and you grab another fish out the bowl. Yeah, and then they're like, "Why did we invite you over? In fact, we didn't invite you over. Why are you here? Leave, leave, Leave. (laughs) please go away. I have a restraining order against you. Leave. (laughs) Have a silent, have a silent presence and aura, but taking the steps necessary to control people with your body language, reflecting your high status and your value. You're controlling people. To command people's attention without words, the following, the following bullet points. Stand up straight mm-hmm. at all times, keeping your shoulders back and your head up and at attention. Okay, this person is that what doing that's that wrong. To represent? I am a robot. I, I mean, am you're human. Arrogant. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Take I do not understand world emotion world except for arrogance. <laughs> the only emotion that was programmed in. Move purposefully. Don't wander around rooms or take little half steps towards the bar. Walk what? right up to it at full stride and grab a place at the table. Towards the... You, you're saying that to be arrogant I have to be headstrong and ready to go get drunk. Headstrong, I'll take you on. Don't, don't take little nervous steps towards the bar. Walk right up to him and say, give me a shot of everything. I'll take on anyone. Oh. I, want, I want five full fingers of everything at the bar, all in a big bucket, swirl it around, <laughs> give me a funnel. I know that you are wrong. This is not where you belong. <laughs> oh, there is one more bullet point here. Smile mm. less. Mm. If you want to communicate your superiority, try your best to remain aloof and gaze critically at others as they complete tasks. Yeah. I Silently judge people. I mean, yeah. Show them who's This the is not how to be an asshole. Not how to be an asshole. No, just just wanted to remind everybody. Yeah, just this how is to how be how arrogant, to be dude. Just a little yeah. arrogance. Never heard Exactly. Anyone. This is how to be an ass. I mean arrogant. Yeah, yeah, just a little, just a little arrogant. How to be an arrogant hole? Yeah, an arrogant hole. Yeah, Matt, that, you want to give us step yeah, three? I'll give you step three. <clears throat> step three: demonstrate your abilities publicly by mm. whatever you're doing there. I think that's supposed to be a uh, her a, a, race. a marathon or a race or something. But I guess part of the marathon is looking back at the at the camera, the man. other competitors or the camera or whatever, and just being like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm, having and having uh, vampires. I'm the best around. Yeah. No one's ever going to take me down. Right. Mm. Com compete regularly to keep your skills sharp and your hunger for winning large. Ooh. Mm. It's okay. much better to brag and boast about things <laughs> that other people... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that other people already know or have seen you do. Making your boast that much more believable. It's still not good Believe to boast to people, though. Yeah, why? You haven't really convinced me that boasting this much is is a good idea. But, yeah, yeah, like I don't, I like, don't people really are... like hearing people boast about anything. Yeah, because you know, it's just it's, it's an off-putting thing to do. I mean, fine, you know, if you're if you just won a race and, and like it's you haven't it hasn't happened that much or whatever and you're like and you just won a race of course you're allowed to be happy and be like yeah like you yeah, just I accomplished won. a goal you had for yourself that's cool but don't but like you know af but you know after the initial you know rush of victory let it go yeah don't just you know, keep people reminding hey remember how last year i won see, this race see, guys, even if it was like remember how i won this race last week don't care anymore yeah, it's been a week. Like, there's there's a problem with this part already, and that requires me to like. First, it requires me to be public, like go out and like around other people. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And then secondly, it requires me to like be able to do stuff. Like I can't do. I can't leave my house, dude. I can't you, you, run a marathon. Don't, I can't even run. You don't have yeah. abilities. I don't he have doesn't abilities. Have legs. Guys, this article's <laughs> worthless to me. Damn. Well, would, maybe. Would you maybe say it's beneath you? Yes. Oh. Well, that's pretty good. You're learning. Yeah. That. You're learning. Make an effort you're... to win things that you know you can win. Wow. <laughs> hey, child, playing a hey, five-year-old playing Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm going to kick your fucking ass. <laughs> Get your cards out. <laughs> it's time to d d d d duel, bitch. I prey challenge you to a fist fight. on the young, fight. the old, and the weak. Yeah. I just, I <laughs> challenge that kid to a fist fight and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> I know I can beat this kid up. That's, I still get beat just, up. That's what that regularly. advice sounds like. Yeah. Make an effort to win things you know you can win. Don't just challenge stomp on those who are all. beneath you. Oh, God. Uh, anyway. Uh, with your... Yeah. Um, win things that you know you can win with your skills you can, and your arrogant edge. The earlier mm. you start competing, the better. If you instill a serious competitive edge in yourself early in life, <laughs> it'll carry through your adult years. So what is no, this article it's for? Too like, late. Fuck. Is this Damn. article for like five-year-olds then? Yes. Yeah, five years. Yes. Yeah. Five-year-old yeah. competitive. I mean, I guess it works then. I mean, well, I don't know any five-year-olds that weren't really arrogant that played sports. Mm. Yeah. Well. You, I guess you didn't talk to enough five-year-olds. I only knew the one. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> yeah, I hang out with five-year-olds all the time. A lot of them are really arrogant. Yeah, they're all really arrogant. Fucking mm. pricks. 
That's why I beat them up. Kids, yeah. That's why. That's why I fight them, and I know I can win. Fucking, I mean, like fucking. Like assholes, I beat them up because I, mean, I know that they'll beat pricks. me in other things, you know. <laughs> like like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's why I don't like challenge Yu-Gi-Oh. Them Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. And like they beat they'll me. beat me in like they beat me in like like limbo contests, and they beat me in like uh, <laughs> say uh, police chases because uh, oh. they haven't even been chased by the police. Damn. Uh, and I've been caught so many times. <clears throat> like they automatically, they just win automatically. They just win by default. Yeah. Damn. I mean, granted, they're usually the ones calling the police, but oh, so, yeah. that's beside the point. I mean, Be that compet- actually, actually, even worse, that makes it even more of a victory for them. Uh, uh, I guess I'm not being very arrogant right now. Mm. Yeah, you need to work harder. You know what you need to be? You need to be competitive in all facets of your life. Mm. When Rafael Nadal was injured, I don't know who that is, and needed to He's recover. A tennis player. Oh, tennis player. Okay, and needed to recover from competitive <laughs> tennis. He started playing high stakes poker, becoming obsessed just to keep that arrogant age. Hey, kids, get a gambling addiction. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. good. Well, I mean, okay. I'm pretty sure that's not why he started playing poker. I'm pretty sure he started playing poker because he had lots of money to spend and he enjoyed playing poker. No, oh, kids, get a gambling addiction. I know you. Yeah. Well, number Go to four. the slot machines. You know you can win those. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That what? What do they say? The customer always wins. Yeah, the customer's always. Right? always the gambler wins. always wins. I believe that's the the motto of casinos yeah. the world. Yeah, that, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. exactly. So then, uh, picture uh, picture four. They just uh, they found Pic- this one in. Picture of strength. Hmm. And they say, make an example of the weakest links. Oh, God. Arrogant people need to prove their superiority on a regular basis. That means (laughs) making an example of people weaker than you in competition. I think you mean assholes need to prove their superiority on a regular basis. No, this is why... This is why you play. You're playing tennis, right? Rafael Nadal was known for executing his opponents afterwards. Yeah, he just straight (laughs) up killed them. Yeah. He had, like, a little sharpened edge on his tennis racket. He would just slice their fucking throat afterwards. See, here's what I was thinking. God. He just he would just beat them with, like, the hard side of the tennis thing, and he would just right, keep beating right. them. And just tennis. keep beating them until they stop moving. They I'm better than you! Them. You know what? Tennis sounds like a pretty hardcore sport. Yeah, dude. That's it's why it's really banned hardcore. in so many countries. Do you know how many yeah, people exactly. die from getting beat by tennis rackets every year? It's insane. <laughs> yeah. A All surpri- because people got to be surprisingly a mm-hmm. surprisingly large number of people. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they used to call it the US Open Wounds, but uh <laughs> yeah. They they had to cut that out cuz it yeah. didn't it didn't market well. Didn't test well with public. Right, yeah. Public audiences, you know. Um <clears throat> Whether that means calling out the worst worker in your office team, sticking them with some work that will expose their weakness, what? or challenging a weaker God. opponent to a contest, you need Fucking to dominate dick. on a regular basis. Can I just point out, sticking them with some work that will expose their weakness, so you are going to undermine the efficiency of the place you work just to showcase, just just to prove your superiority. Yes. Hey, man, I know Dude. you really. <laughs> That's fucked. I know up. you're really bad at the like the whole numbers thing, but I need you to count up the uh, the cash at the end of the day. And it's like, hey man, I know wait, you're if not you know a I'm bad at it, why are you putting engineer? me on it? Because I want everyone to know how bad you Dude, are. Dude, I know you're not a qualified electrical engineer and you've never touched wires in your life, but man, you really need to rewire this whole place, man. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hey, come man, in I know here you've and never just redo the up. wiring and? But I, I do never... the pay. But but I. <laughs> I'm the accountant. <laughs> yeah. Hey, man, I know you've never driven an 18-wheeler before, but come on, man. I need this delivered. I know you can do it. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, you, you can't say that. You can't say I know you can do this. You oh. have to call them out for yeah, it. Yeah, I know you can't. You pussy? This. You're not going to do it? Pussy? <laughs> <laughs> Little bitch? <laughs> like Could have is... swore we didn't hire no bitch. Hey, like man, this... I, know you, I know you can't swim and all, but, like, it's time for lifeguard duty for you. Come on, man. Yeah, okay? <laughs> and if somebody else drowns, you drown with them. Yeah, come on, man. You don't want that on your conscience. Yeah. You Better to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> God, you know, this, this, this just, you know, instead of just sounding, in, instead of just sounding like how to be arrogant, this just sounds like how to... Make you feel better about yourself, even though you're a worthless piece of shit. Like this is yeah, like, how to make wow, yourself feel you know? good by putting people down. <laughs> like, how to dominate hell. people for your own for your own self. I don't even. 
I don't even know. Yeah. Never Um, under any circumstances take it easy on someone. Arrogant people compete at a high level at all times. Again, I point to Rafael Nadal, you know, executing his opponents. It's also important to challenge upper-level opponents that will actually challenge your skills. But it's also helpful to fight the occasional squash match. That's true, yeah. Like, here's, here's what it is. I fight... I fight my brother, right? Like, my brother's about my physical fitness. We mm-hmm. fight each other. I usually beat him up. Sometimes he beats me up. But, but, then, I go beat up five-year-olds. For the rest of the week. Heal okay. You. Right? Mm-hmm. And then I come back and fight my brother again when I'm all healed up. Mm-hmm. So, so I'm got, I've got, like, 300 wins, four losses. But, but, I mean... A win is a win, right? Yeah. I, I mean, guess. Right? Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I'm pretty good. I'm win, pretty good. Win. I'd say I'm pretty good. Yeah. And I'm a good person, too. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. No one's as You're humble sure. as me. You're not an asshole at all. You're just a little arrogant. No. Yeah. And I have that magnetic edge. That's why I have friends like you, stupid idiots. Yeah, like us. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> no, Matt, you're supposed to say I'm not a stupid idiot. Oh. I'm not a stupid idiot, you baka fucker. There you go. <laughs> I mean, I'll have you eh, know fuck I'm you. the sweetest boy in here, all right? I'm going to put you on lifeguard duty, Bob. <laughs> oh, I can't swim. I mean, I'll uh, swim. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. See, oh. this is why we're friends. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, I just saw the next step, so let's let's get to yeah. that. Oh. So, step five. Cash. Is, have lots that is of cash. Tiny, tiny cash. Yeah. Have, <laughs> have, 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 dude, Monopoly. Have a large. Come on. Have a large amount of incredibly small money. <laughs> no. Have a large that, amount of Monopoly money. Also, that money's really thick. Dude, yeah. it's thick money. Those are thick, thick money dude, wedges. I would, dude, that money's turning me on right now. It's so thick. <laughs> thick, <laughs> yes. Anyway, step five. see thick cash. Be self-sufficient or fake it. Oh, hell, what? Uh, or yeah, fake or, it? What? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I cannot really provide for myself. So instead of asking for help of you know of people, you know, be like, hey, I, I have a problem. Can I? Can you help me? No, I'm just gonna pretend that I am self-sufficient and just get into even worse places. I guess, sure. I yeah, I guess that that sounds like a good plan. Can't let people, sh- you know, can't show weakness. Uh-huh. If I didn't know any better, I'd say this advice in this article might not be very good. You mm. know? Huh, makes you think. Good thing mm. I know better. Yeah. Hashtag makes you think. Yeah. Really makes you think, you know? Yeah. It makes you think that arrogant people should come across like they're completely responsible for all their successes and attribute nothing to coaches, teachers, training, or any other facet of their skills. Yeah. Mm. Just just pretend that it all came naturally and that hard work is unnecessary, I guess. I I want to I want you guys to lodge that in your memory, just that they want you to attribute nothing to coaches, teachers, training, right? Just remember right. that for later. Okay. Arrogant people should seem like they were born in Armani diapers. Woo! With a big mm. charge card in, in fact, one they're hand. still in those diapers. And a championship trophy in the other, and have, and have done nothing but dominate from that day forward. Poor mom, poor mom who had to give birth to not only a child but also a championship trophy. Yeah, her body had to create Armani diapers. Yeah. yeah. Also, these aren't Armani; they're Dolce and Gabbana. Fuck. <laughs> no, Ooh, I have Gucci diapers. I don't know if that counts for anything. <laughs> No, it doesn't. It, it has is. to. It has to be Armani. Armani Fuck. or bust. Yeah. Damn it. Arma- Armani also, or GTFO. Also, it, be self-sufficient or fake it. They're saying like you should come across like you're. Well, you just read read the substep. It doesn't matter if this is true or not. Just make it seem true by living ostentatiously, showing flash when you've got it. Wear your success visibly. Now, now, hang, hang on a second. Did they learn nothing from the book, The Great Gatsby? Because the whole no, point of the book they didn't. is that it's the whole point of the book is that Gatsby looks rich, and everybody else he knows looks rich. But at the end of the book, 
spoiler alert, I guess. He's he dies a poor and alone. He's huh. just he's just wearing the flash, but he's not actually flashy or or responsible for his own success. It's all just a facade. That's why makes, it's called the Gilded Age. Makes you think. Wow. Hmm. Really makes you think. Maybe this advice isn't so good. Really huh. makes you think, you know? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Now look at that next step. Oh, well, at my. least this person has a neck. This yeah, person that's true. This person looks like the main character in a Square Enix game. They do. He does, yes. <laughs> he slash she does. Yeah. yeah, it's not really. It's it's kind of in classic hard to tell. Square Enix style. You can't in classic really tell. Square Enix style, yeah. you can't really tell. The only way yeah. you can tell is if you look up the porn, and even then, you're gonna find both. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. Well. So dress like a dress like the person you claim to be, which links to an article on how to dress well, which I'm mm-hmm. assuming is drawn entirely in this style. Yep. I walk the hope. walk by wearing the uniform that the of of the person you're trying to be. So a Square Enix character. Okay. One expensive lots, suit. lots of belts. Lots of <laughs> belts. <laughs> a giant sword. Like pa- the pouches most ridiculous. Pouches everywhere. Yeah. Belts, pouches, bangles. I, I want to be just like Rob Liefeld. <laughs> yeah, I, can I get a tail? <laughs> I think it would be Where I think it would be cute and everywhere. convenient. Where I need I need everywhere. a I need a red tattered scarf to if hide anyone's, my face. If anyone's wondering how a, having a tail would be convenient, so am I. <laughs> But that's a comment I've heard. Oh. I just want a tail because it'd be cute and convenient. Oh, man. One expensive suit, jacket, or wraparound dress is worth 50 cheap versions. Unless you wear it every day, in which case yeah, it becomes be a cheap version yeah, pretty quick. Say, in which case yeah. it becomes really cheap yeah. looking. The second you wear it two days in a row, everyone will go, oh, you're one of those kinds of guys. No. Uh. Okay. You have the one suit, and you wear it every day. The one suit. <laughs> They'll just feel bad for you. The one yeah. suit to bind them all, you know? Oh. Mm. It, lasts to get, it lasts longer and leaves a lasting impression, unless you it wear doesn't it every la- day. Yeah, I was about to say, it won't last longer if it's the <laughs> only one you have. It lasts longer and leaves a lasting impression. It lasts longer and leaves a lasting longer impression. <laughs> yeah. A longer, longer, longer the impression, the longer it lasts. Because it yeah. lasts longer with its longing impression. With its... Oh. <laughs> It'll leave the ladies longing. Oh. <laughs> with its lasting impression. With its lasting impression. Damn. <laughs> this is... <laughs> so weird. <laughs> what a weird way to word that. Yeah. This involves a certain amount of conformity and a dedication to a particular look. Well, you have to subscribe. Don't you tell me what YouTube channels to subscribe. <laughs> you have to subscribe to the expected. <laughs> you have to subscribe to the expected image of an arrogant athlete or arrogant bro. No, no, you don't want that. Don't be a. Don't be don't a bro. Don't look like an arrogant bro. Don't people do will that. hate you. Please, please. No, don't do that. people will love your arrogance and your broiness and oh, your magnetic. Because you'll also have that magnetic edge. Mm-hmm. God. And find a style that gar- find a style and garments that fulfill that image. Excuse me, guy. Just wear a football around your ankle. All the time. <laughs> wear, just wear a football. I'm an it. athlete. Can you tell? Can you tell? This is a ball I throw real good. The, can you see it by how I? I mean, don't I look like I do sports very well? No, you see dude, these? Just, just... You see these cleats? They're shoes with spikes on the bottom, so I can run real fast. On the grass. On the grass. <laughs> Be- I hit people real good. <laughs> Be-, <laughs> Be groomed in the way that your arrogant field calls for. My arrogant oh. field. Arrogant arro- rocker. Uh. Mm-hmm. Arrogant rockers have to look as if their awesome looking hair was the last thing they thought of that day. And the perfect fitting leather jacket just fell into their lap. I don't know how you're supposed to look like that. How are you supposed yeah, to Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how do you give the impression that it's a perfect fitting jacket, but it just, like, you just got it coincidentally. It just appears. I mean, what does it look like when you wear a perfect fitting leather jacket well planned? Like, but that's what I'm saying. Like, they're, they're going to be like, they're trying to be like, you know, look like you didn't think about your fashion at all. But, like, that's... 
Like, how are you supposed to look like I that? mean, it's not like Alice Cooper just, like, stumbled through a costume shop and ended up looking like that. <laughs> but I mean, like, okay, so they're like, you know, that, that perfect fitting leather jacket, you're supposed to look like you weren't planning to wear that. Yeah, but, like, how, but how are you supposed to... It's perfect fitting. Like, how That's do the people... part that makes it look planned. But, like, yeah, I was gonna say, what part of your jacket <laughs> looks planned in the first place? You're wearing a, a jacket. Like, how are you supposed to... Give off Usually, the impression that you were planning to wear that, unless you're telling everybody. Like, basically... I didn't plan you, on wearing this. It just fell into yeah, my like, lap like, this morning. Like, what is that you supposed I mean, to do? I mean, the thing hey, guys, is, I didn't ma- plan on dressing this way, but I just look cool. The, I mean, the, the, the thing, like, the ba- like at its base, at, at, you know, at, at a base level, it's very simple. If you don't look incredibly dull, you will look like you've specifically went out of your way to yeah. look not dull. Yeah, Even if yeah. you look very, you know, n- normal and whatever, it's still, like, you... Yeah, even if how? you did accidentally end up wearing something that looks real good, you'll still look like you planned it. Yeah, that's that's the entire point of looking good. Looking good takes dedication and planning, which is or also what they're saying... a lot of luck. So, Which is also what they're saying. You just need to pretend like it just magically yeah, happened. Yeah, so you're supposed to plan out your outfit, and then you're supposed to just go around pretending. Like, oh man, I didn't really plan to look this I way. just threw yeah. something on. I just threw something yeah. on. And you just have to go around and tell everybody that, even if nobody questions. Like, nobody asks. Hi, nice that. to meet you. I just threw this on. <laughs> okay, that's nice. That's a nice <laughs> intro <you>. line. <laughs> Can you go? Hey, away my now? name is Bob, and I just <laughs> threw this on. <laughs> yeah, that should be that should be your new intro line. Yeah, you don't like uh, my new intro line, so I might change it. Yeah, change it to <laughs> "Hi, this is Bob, and I just threw this on." Yeah. Um, all right. So, part two, step one. Talking Look at that face, talk. Matt. Look at that face. I told That's you that the things were coming. Da- <laughs> Look there's, at that face. There's. That's, there's no, so no, much. No, no, real quick. This person also doesn't have a neck. It's harder to tell, but notice there's a little shoulder yep. bump there. Yep. There's so right? much. And here's my here. theory. Their head started to swallow their neck meat. Oh. Oh. Right? And it's causing the, the, everything else to push outwards. Oh. Huh? I can't that, even begin that sounds to gruesome. comment on what is wrong with this face. Like, the tiny little fucking nose... Mm-hmm. The off kiltered mouth, mm-hmm. the like way to the left side eye, mm-hmm. like if that eye moved any further to the left, it'd be off his flipping face. The <laughs> fact little... that his head is a fucking bean. <laughs> the fact that his his ear is like <laughs> just pointed out back there. Yeah, and then it doesn't he, even look like just... it's attached to his head. It's just a weird bean. He's a Mr. Potato Head. Dude, look oh, at it. He's a Mr. Potato Head. down at the bottom. Look at how low his chin line is. Hey, guys, it's me, Drax. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even look human. Holy shit, guys. That is Drax. <laughs> With hair. <laughs> With hair? He looks like Dan He's from smug? Heavy Metal. <laughs> he, he doesn't look like Den from Heavy Metal, but he didn't before he got to <laughs> the Pony World, right? And, he, and look at the step. Brag about your accomplishments. Oh, man. <gasps> Where's the this step on dra- hating humanity, but the still being oh, yeah. a part of it yourself? <laughs> arrogance where is about projecting yeah, super. Uh, yeah, uh, arrogance where, is about projecting is superiority in all things, and it's easier to be superior and, and to brag about it when it's about things you've actually done, like hated humanity. Yeah, like being a misanthrope. Mm-hmm. When you score more points than anyone else on the team, when you get your work done the fastest, when you beat your brother in a foot race, make sure everyone knows about it. Yeah, I did my work really quickly. I mean, it doesn't matter that its quality was shit, but I was fast. I mean, what what about what about when you when you down two bottles of tequila in a single night? Huh? Also, also, I beat my brother in a foot race. By the way, he's in a wheelchair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, what? and honestly, and honestly, I feel like that gives him an edge because he doesn't, you know, inertia. Dude, is helping wheels. Him out. He has wheels. wheels. Right? And I mean, granted, I was using Heelys, and also we were going uphill, but still. And like, also, I, I had actually tied his wheelchair to a lamppost. And also part of the race involved stairs. Uh, but, 
I, I mean, won. That's the point. I won. That's the I important. Was, I won. I was victorious. Yeah. You I him beat up his real stupid good. crippled ass. Yeah, you <laughs> fucked him up real good. Yeah. I mean, granted, I started the race by kicking him into a ditch, but still, <laughs> yeah, I man. won. I that's the important good. part. I won. He might still be in the ditch, but I won. Yeah. <laughs> Only brag about things that, that you... But, uh, only brag about things that you do excellently. It's much oh. more difficult to brag when you're only mediocre, and then your yeah. arrogance yeah. just comes <laughs> off as ignorance. <laughs> if you want to command presence, brag when you've got a reason. Oh. If you want to be more arrogant, you don't need to wait for an opening to brag. Just start doing it. Fuck you. Oh my arrogance god. Arrogance is bullish and obvious, and arrogant people don't care if everyone knows it. Fuck yeah, you. Yeah, that's why people that's don't. That's why people don't like arrogant <laughs> yeah, people. Exactly. <laughs> Feel God. free to slightly embellish your accomplishments as well. It's better to exaggerate slightly than to flat out lie, because you can get your arrogant bubble burst a little if people find out you didn't do as well as you claimed. <laughs> well, no, well, no, because they're just haters. And wait, wait. You... If you flat out lie, if you if you flat out lie, yeah, people will be like, "Wow, you didn't do anything." Like you know, I say I went to the Grand Canyon, and no, you and didn't. It's like, wow, did you? And it's like, no, not really. I didn't actually go to the Grand Canyon. But if I say like. I got like two. I got one foot away from the Grand Canyon when really I was ten feet away from the edge of the Grand Canyon. People are gonna go. Well, you just lied. That's still a flat out lie. Like, dude, it's like that's that an guy, exaggeration, but it's, it's also like, a lie. It's like that guy at my work who lied about being in the military for years. Mm. Wow, that's he that's was. You know, I bet he asshole followed asshole this guy. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, all my military accomplishments, my medals and, and accolades and all yeah, that. And he wasn't in he wasn't in the military at all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, uh Yelly, you wanna give us uh part two step two? Yeah, yeah, let's um oh uh, oh gosh, look at her face. Oh. See, this is what I was talking about. They they like they they mean to do like the little thing where you don't draw the full curve of the smile and you like leave a little gap, but because they did it all wrong, it looks like she's just got dots and lines all over her face. Yeah. You know, like yeah. what is that? Also, look at her thumbs. Oh, those. Oh. Those are huge. Where does her Where does her right leg go? Yeah, where does it just merges she had... with the wood? Oh no. Let me. Oh no. <laughs> No, <laughs> it does, La dude. Lady, she's lady not even her thing. She's sitting on. That's just what her body looks like. No, run away, lady. Oh the man, I bet she has. Like, I bet she has like a a slug thing behind it, like a mm. big like slug thing that oh. she like pulls. I bet she's like she's like a monster from the next Dark Souls game. You know what I oh. bet it is? She's a monster from the next Dark Souls game. This lady part. This is all just like. An angler fish's lure. Yeah, right. Right. That's yeah. What I'm right. And then, like, the second you get close, the thing spins around, and that like lady is actually just like the tail that's shaped like that, and it just flops away, and like this horrible monster comes out from the yeah, back. Yeah, dude, she's here to she, like she's she attracts it's arrogant a mimic. players. Yeah. Oh shit. Like players that Man. get too arrogant, and like she tricks them, and then they yeah. have to fight the air, the boss of arrogance. Yeah. Oh man. Damn. Dark Souls Four is getting weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the it's symbol, weird that they would I feel take like WikiHow as you know they would as, a Wiki, source, yeah. as a source. Yeah, they hired the concept like, artists also, from WikiHow. I kind of like it. I also feel though. it's kind of well. I, I think it's kind of too bad that they get way on way too on the nose with their symbolism and that. It's yeah. uh, that's kind of a shame. I mean, yeah. we're, we're not that big of idiots. Come on, have some respect for your players. Yeah. Anyway, step two of part two. Set extremely high standards. Hold on, hold on. Oh. I have to pause one more time. If we ignore all that Dark Souls joking we just did, <laughs> are they suggesting we have to set high standards for other people and, like, that person well, is just rated number one? I mean, we'll find out. Because there like, is fuck you. More there's more text to the step. If you want to come off as arrogant, start setting big goals and trying your best to live up to them. Your standard for excellence should always be higher than everyone else's, yet always within reach of your skills. Those two might be mutually exclusive. Mm. Make the bar too high for anyone else to reach. Then how are you supposed to reach it? Because like, you're better than them, Yella. <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. I guess I'm just not being arrogant uh, enough here. Yeah, you're not yeah. an ass. I mean, arrogant enough hole. Yeah. Yeah. An, an arrogant hole enough. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Let your standards evolve with your skills. The more you accomplish, the higher your standards should become. It's oh. not enough to win one championship. You have to repeat and three-peat. You have to win MVP trophies and be the best in the room. That was terrible. I hated that sentence. Yep. That made me vomit in my mouth a thing. little. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> If someone offers a compliment, an arrogant person will sometimes respond with something like, Oh, that's nothing. I'm not even trying. Hey, Matt. He. I, I think you're a real sweet guy. <laughs> I, I, I gotta set high standards. Um, uh, yeah, well, um, I'm just not sweet enough yet. But don't worry, I'll be sweeter. In fact, I'll be the sweetest within the next week. No, Matt. No, no Matt. No, no, that's no. humble. Yeah, you're yeah, being... shit. Sorry. Because you're saying, like, you're not humble. You gotta be like, oh, you wanna see sweet? Let me show you fucking sweet. Like, you gotta be in it, man. Competitive. Yeah. Oh, I'm just not that good at this, guys. Well, we're, 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 <laughs> we're only halfway through it. We'll, well, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. You have You have time. You have to. I mean, I mean, well, this this next picture does does. Well, guys, you're missing out. Make, this no, next I agree one, with this next picture on on what on on your what performance so far. Dude, well, that also, thumb looks also terrifying. That, that thumb, thumb is so like long. Leg. That thumb looks like a leg. It's got Actually, so many extra joints that it. Doesn't. I mean, like, no, look, it looks like a leg. Think about the think about the thing mm. as a little foot. It's a leg. Oh. Okay, I'll I'll be honest. I just. You know, made made a thumbs down in in front of this, and if I actually have to sort of open my fist, and then I can sort of make it fit with my hand. I have a very, yeah, yeah, I, have a ver I mean, I have a, I have a pretty flexible thumb myself. So, oh, my thumbs not that flexible. I gotta do it. Mine does. My thumbs don't even have bones. Ah, shit! No, I can't. I oh, that, can't. I'm that's the best. Pretty, that, that's I'm the flexible. very best at having really flexible weird. thumbs. Well, you know what else looks weird is the entire rest of the picture. Look at his fingers. Look at how yeah. fat his middle finger is. Oh, well, he's shit, never you're getting right. a ring on that thing. Well, he no. doesn't need one. He just gives people a finger and walks away. <laughs> gives and he's better at everyone else, better flip, than everyone else at doing. Flips it. Flips people out on a, a giant bird. Just this last one, because the next step is criticize weakness. That mm. didn't criticize Aww. me at all. Damn, oh, uh, we're also working on it, man. You're a dingus. Worry. I mean, <laughs> fuck. No, Don't cry, Matt, Matt, you're a bitch. No. No, no, Bob, no. <laughs> no. Criticize weakness. When other people fail to live up to the standards that you set for excellence and for yourself, point it out publicly. God, that's wow. terrible advice. Yeah. Well, oh, it might you, seem oh, cool to point out others' like, failures in an acquisition. Oh, 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 how, oh, how nice that you, that, how nice that you brewed me a cup of coffee. Oh my God, it tastes horrible. Wait, by wait. which I mean. It, in not in that good. In While it might that? seem cruel, it uh, is cruel. I was, no, 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 While no. it might seem cruel, they're about to 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 counteract. Oh that yeah, point. sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. While it might seem cruel to point out others' failures and inadequacies, because it is, it's important. It's an important way to position yourself on top of everyone else. Oh, what? so it is cruel for sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like they're, now they're it, not, it might, well, might seem mean. Cruel. It might seem mean for me to have kidnapped and killed your dog, but. Consider this, you don't have a dog anymore. Yeah. Well, it might Consider seem this, yeah. it was. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're not even denying it. It was important for me to kill your dog. Yeah. <laughs> and that's who really matters here. Me. <laughs> not your dog. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead? What do you care about him now? Yeah, well, he doesn't matter <laughs> in the slightest now. He's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Wow! Wow! This is just getting. <laughs> this is just getting more and Why more. Why are you crying? Up. Stop crying! Jeez, Stop crying! Man, are you a little dead. bitch? What are you crying about? He's not here anymore. <laughs> He's not <laughs> here. He's not gonna see you cry, dude. He's not gonna just... comfort you. He's dead. <laughs> you're, you're... Why are you being such a little bitch? You're like your dog. Your dog was also <laughs> a little not bitch. Like your dog? You know who's not dead? I'm not. That makes me better I'm not. Than Why aren't you making me feel better? Yeah. You think I feel great about having killed your dog? I do, but like... <laughs> you know, come on. You know, like, come on. I'm ten times better than your dog ever was because I'm still alive. Like, come yeah. on, dude. Jesus. Unlike you, bang. I said that's... <laughs> Unlike you, you're dead. Yeah, I hit... 
I set high standards <laughs> for, for those I interact with. Namely, your dog. I set the standard of living. They're dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> Just God, like this article. Yep. Wow. It all comes full circle. That's and we're only as, halfway, huh? That's just as important as bragging about yourself. You don't need to do it in a rude way, but you're going to because there's no nice way to do that. Yeah. <laughs> to be arrogant, but it does help to be somewhat blunt, a.k.a. rude. If your teammate yeah. or opponent in a game messes up the play, let them know you disapprove, gently but firmly. You know and I know that was a bad play. You just lost that for us. Pass me the ball next time. Like, that's a fucking wow. dick thing to say to people. You know, you know what an I, asshole. I, I, you know what I'm an played, arrogant person. I played team sports. Like, I played volleyball a few years back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I've played it for quite a few years. And we had, of course, competitions and stuff. And, of course, when a teammate messed up, you would let them know. Because they need, because you know, everybody needs to improve, and you need to be able to say that to each other, but not like this. Yeah. You, you, like, of course, like you, like, okay. Instead of starting with you and I both know that you fucked up, yeah. don't start like that. Just skip immediately to the advice. Be like, okay, next time, try doing this differently. Right. You know, or just, just like, hey, man, next time I'm focus open too. Come on, like, yeah, yeah, something let's like do that. this. But don't, we can do this, come on, or guys. Or even just keep the, turn keep it the around. team spirit up. Yeah, let's like, turn it around. Yeah, yeah, exactly, something around. like that. But like, don't, if, he don't knows, just... if he knows, he or she knows that it's a bad play, and you know it's a bad play, why do you need to say it? Don't say you it. You don't, just, you don't need to say it. Just it's like, let, like, next time, we'll do something else. Yeah, come on, we can still do this. Like, yeah. got to keep positive about these things. You don't need to tear them down even more. That's not going to help them improve playing. Then again, you don't care because you're an arrogant asshole. Oh, sorry, uh, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just well, arrogant. Sorry. An, Come on. An just arrogant. arrogant. An just arrogant, arrogant hole. Just, just arrogant. arrogant. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah. Just an asshole. I Definitely mean, not an asshole. Yeah, Definitely, Definitely not an arrogant, asshole, arrogant like asshole. Just like... Just arrogant. Just, arrogant. just a little arrogant. Yeah. Hole. Yeah. That's... <laughs> oh, uh, man. Look at that. He's like, oh yeah, let me eat he's, those. Fingers. Yeah, he's about to chop. Nom, he's about to, nom, he doesn't nom. even have a thumb. Those, he's got that hand is like as I'm looking at it, it's like a magic eye painting. The hand seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Also, oh, like God. he's got no spot for a thumb on his hand anywhere. That's that's because he already ate that one. Yeah. Mm. He doesn't. That's, he no, always starts on the thumb. Mm. He doesn't yeah. have one. Like I, no, there's no spot where a thumb would have been. Look. No, he also ate the spot. Mm-hmm. He ate some I extra ate extra down his right hand. Line. All his fingers are the same length almost. Mm-hmm. Well, I think I think it's supposed to be wait. okay. Now I'm just holding my hands in front of me. Okay, right no, it's suppo- wait, yeah, wait. it's the right hand. That's his right hand, right? Yeah. yeah. That can't be his right hand because that means it that is. that's his pinky over there on the far left, right? On no, the on the far right. right. On the far right. On the what's up? Yeah, the bottom one. That's the pinky. So how is he holding... He's got to hold his hand like... Like, he's got to have his arm over his chest, over sideways to yeah. get this. And even then, that's, that shot still doesn't work that well. I mean... I'm just trying to do yeah. this myself. Like I don't know how... Got it. The thing I'm trying to wrap my head around is how this picture applies to be impenetrable. <laughs> my arm is The fuck burning. does this picture even mean? Who drew... Like, it was like, okay, I need you to draw a picture for a uh, be impenetrable. And it's like, okay, uh, what could I draw? I could draw, like, a s- bunch of Spartans in their, like, in their formation with the shields. Or maybe, like, just, like, a dude in a suit of armor. Uh-uh. I want you to draw a dude eating his fingers. <laughs> Can you do that for me? Just eating his right hand, maybe? It's like, really? You want me... Okay. Well, how does that... Impenetrable. Just do what I asked, okay? I'm Come the guy on, who man. tells you what to do, and you're the stupid artist, okay? He's <laughs> taking the steps. He's taking the steps for me earlier. Yeah, yeah, good, up. good job. I, uh, yeah. well done, well done, Bob. Yeah. I mean, uh, come on, Bob. You could do better. We both know you can do better than this. Come on, Bob. Head in the game, please. Yeah, come, come on. on. Oh, you know what? Leave it to me next time. Fucking god. Eventually, you'll probably get into verbal altercations. <laughs> Eventually, you'll. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, you'll probably get into verbal altercations as an arrogant person. I other mean, w- yeah. Other wannabe arrogant people will try what? to take you down a notch or two. Jesus. And it's very important. 
I like that you implied that the other people are also wannabe arrogant people, and that the yeah. reader of this article is a wannabe arrogant person. I, I and like it's very important that you want to be arrogant. Yeah, it's very important <laughs> that you be rock solid in your verbal jousting. Don't let insults or witty jokes get to you, and practice your quick comebacks to stay one up on the competition. Can can Ugh. somebody give me something to to joust with? I, I'd like to try out one of my Here's quick comebacks. A, uh, hey hey a Bob Bob like tube. I used to joust no, with those. No. No, no, no. Ver- verbal joust. Verbal joust. Here's a yeah. cardboard okay. tube. Uh, I used to I, verbally <laughs> joust with those. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, give me, I, give me I, your yeah. best. Give me your best uh, insult or witty joke. Well, Bob. Fuck you. <laughs> You're. <laughs> wow, wow. I didn't have a chance at all. I mean, to they even wanted me to practice quick sentence. comebacks. <laughs> but Bob, <laughs> you're dumb. Oh God, that was gonna be my comeback. <laughs> Yes! No! <laughs> yes! He preempted it! <laughs> Hell yeah! See, that's, that's being That's quick. a counter block right there. <laughs> counter break, yeah. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of this will happen ahead of the game. Learn to identify your competition and keep them either on your side by befriending them and working together to dominate, or by knocking them down a few pegs before they get the chance to gain confidence and challenge you. What game wait. are we talking about? Wait, Just why are we game. befriending? Why are we bef- why are we befriending people now? I think we were trying to be an ad- 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 arrogant. Good save. I, me. Yeah, close <laughs> call. Um, All right, now look at this next picture. Again, Matt, oh. I told you there were worse pictures coming. What in the? F- what? I don't know. I don't know. There's is 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 there's there nothing is there right about index- this picture. Is her index finger fused with her face? There's nothing... that That's the first thing you take notice of? <laughs> how about that weird tumor growing out of the left <laughs> side of her, her face? How about her eyes? How about her tongue? How about the fact that her face is, like, Deformed. shifted over on her head? Well, you see, I like... Does she I have like her hair looking... tucked into her shirt collar? She does! <laughs> how about her little tiny neck? Uh, I think it's her. I think it's her <laughs> mouth that's killing me the most. Like she's not putting her. She's not putting her hands over her mouth. She's putting her hands like on the side of her mouth and pushing her mouth off her face. Over yeah, and then that's also causing the rest of her face to bulge out to the left side. She's just got a big deformable head. Well, you Who see, who thought wh- this wh- was okay? Well, you see, guys, where you were just pointing out the obvious, I looked into detail and I saw the f- the finger fusing into the face. I feel like mm. that's the least egregious thing here. <laughs> mm, uh, look at me. I uh, see Ma- things with my eyeballs. Hey, you're pretty. You're pretty good at that, Yellow. Hey, I find your I find your arrogance really magnetic. Yeah, <laughs> that arrogance my is mag- good. My magnetic edge. Oh. oh boy. Huh. Ooh, that you know that arrogance is Whew, leaving me hot and oh, yeah, bothered. I like that arrogance. Yeah, I don't like that. I really yeah, like that you're an you... asshole. I mean, arrogant. <laughs> yeah, th- come on, don't get it wrong, Bob. I mean, we, we both know you fucked up with that one, and this your is... save wasn't even that good. This yeah. is me, right? I read this one. No, I I think I it's my okay. turn now. Your turn. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, step five: be playful. That somehow Whew. reflects this picture. That's oh. playful. I don't know I mean, what's up. I, that looks pitiful. But that I mean, think about this. Playful. How how much how if you were, imagine you're a small child, right? You put yourself in the mind of a small child, and then you're like, someone's taking care of you, and they're just like, they're doing like the peekaboo thing, right? You're like all excited, yeah. and then they start moving the features around on their face. Oh, oh no! Right, like they move their mouth over and start pulling their eyes down, and like take their eyebrows just I, off. I do not want this. <laughs> Anything I mean, it's like balloon this, animals, please. but with my face. I don't want. No. I never asked for this. Okay, I never uh, asked for this. Bob, mm. please, no. Ideally, your arrogance should make you magnetic and attractive, especially to members of the opposite mm. sex. Member apostrophe s. Yes. Also, um, <clears throat> hey, hey, yeah. Matt. Yes. Uh, you're dumb, ladies. Uh, you can hit me up on Discord whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw that out there. Only yeah. ladies, though. Yeah, I. I mean, I'm not interested in guys. Guy, there's no way I could be interested in guys. My yeah, arrogance that, that has doesn't... to be. My arrogance has to attract members of the opposite sex. I cannot. 
I mean, yeah, exactly. there's no way I could possibly be interested in anyone of the same sex. That's never yeah. happened before. Exactly. People Ever. just don't... That's just not people. Yeah. What, no. are you stupid? Yes. Are you? I mean, yeah. no, I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you arrogant... Matt, that's flipper. a really... Uh, Matt, you really <laughs> fucked up on that comeback. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to be arrogant, you stupid motherfucker. Dude, hey, you're not even good at crying. crying God about. damn. <laughs> yeah, well, cry. you know what you're not good at? <laughs> what? Being dumb. Uh, yeah, I'm wow. the best at being dumb here. <laughs> Ladies? Anybody? Best. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Let, let's just let that sink Am I in improving? for a moment. Am I improving, guys? Am I, I mean, I, yeah, I'd Hit say, us up on Discord yeah. if you want some of this. Hit us up on Discord if, if you think you're arrogant enough to handle us. Yeah, you oh. can call me on my cell phone, because I can quote back that one line from that Drake song. <laughs> I only know the Wii, like the Wii shop one. Da, 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 da. That one, you know. <laughs> da, 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 da. Wow. Da, 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 da. That one. We're not sounding arrogant, and the ladies probably don't love that. Unless they do. In which case... A good sneer or a snicker at a ridiculous person or a ridiculous idea can be arrogant, but it can also be somewhat playful and charming. You know, now that I think about it, we've been doing this for like two and a half years on a YouTube channel. Yeah. Oh, hey, a ridiculous person or a ridiculous idea like the writers of this article and this article itself? Dude, they were the arrogant ones the whole time. My God, maybe they were setting us up. (gasps) Wow. Eh. How thoughtful. Oh, Oh, we also have some examples. Uh Uh-huh. Think of the following playful, arrogant icons. Okay. Uh-huh. David Letterman. Kind uh-huh. of, I guess. Chandler from Friends. Sure. Okay. Sure. He's a fictional character, though. He's written to be ex- an exaggeration of any... Like, if you had a friend like Chandler in real life, you'd be really pissed. Yeah. Barney from How I Met Your Mother. Same. Again, he'd be really yeah. annoying <laughs> in real life. The only reason he's amusing is because he's not your real-life friend. Yeah. Lady Gaga. Is she uh, arrogant? Is she, she even playful? She made a song uh, called Born This Way. She's she's a serious I mean, that's artist arrogant. who does who has like a, a message. Like that's yeah. Mm. Ron Burgundy. No, again, fictional character. He'd be really annoying in person. Terry Crews. Not arrogant at all. He's known No, he's How's very he known friendly. For, he's very down to earth and friendly. Yeah, like hell. Have you, what? He's playful. He's not arrogant. Definitely, def- he's definitely play like very. He's funny a cool guy. dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a swag ass motherfucker. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you for calling him arrogant. Yeah. Oprah Win. Uh, to move on, Oprah Winfrey. Fine. Yeah, we'll. we'll I'll we'll give him that. I'll yeah, arrogant, arrogant for yeah. sure. Playful. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, sure. And then finally on the list, Phil McGraw. Phil McGraw? I don't know who that is. Might be? I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, that's Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil? People say he's arrogant. I don't think he's that arrogant. I think he's just like... Mm. He's just straightforward. Yeah. And, And he's not even that playful either. No, he's he's actually again. He's pretty straightforward. He just yeah, just does things like whatever. (laughs) Anyways, oh man, that's a mouth. Woo! That is a mouth. Hey, uh, you got something in your teeth? Yeah, Uh, it looks like a ninja star. It's a small. It's a Doritos ninja star. Yeah. Oh wow! It doesn't (laughs) actually look like it's stuck in his teeth. (laughs) <laughs> he needs to get that out of yeah. here. It just stuck between those teeth right there. Like a number, tiny little ninja through it. Yeah. Number six, believe you are as good as you say you are. Remind okay, yourself. so now you're just telling us to believe things. <laughs> believe it. <laughs> you, believe okay. in yourself. You believe can't just it. tell people to believe things. You have to Rem- convince sure, them. You know what you sure gotta you do? Can. Remind yourself that you are the best and take pride in every single thing you do. Really... Take this attitude on board all of your thinking and dismiss the niggling doubts. You should, niggling. should there be any. 
Know that you are amazing in every way, and let this confidence transform your words and actions. You know what? You know what? Fine. I I'd give them sort of parts of this if it was just an article maybe on, on how to be self-confident. Yeah, or self-respect. Yeah, or self exactly. recognize that Recognize your strengths. Yeah, mm -hmm. recognize your strength and, and allow yourself to be yeah, happy. If you're having trouble maintaining confidence... Strength. Just try to try to dismiss the niggling doubts. It, in some yeah. cases, it might help to invent slights or perceived insults that help to motivate you. Michael Jordan used to tape up disses from other players in his locker to help motivate him to dominate on the court. Wow. Come I mean, up with storylines for yourself oh. to give you something to work with. Position you have a life! As an Your underdog. life has a storyline already! <laughs> Even if you're the best in the room, pretend that you're overcoming the odds. Even if you're doing what you know you can do, keep that fire lit. Uh. So, lie to yourself. Okay. Yeah, just, yeah. just trick yourself. You Oof. know, pr pretend, pretend that your life Ch is a fan fiction, I guess. Mm. Check yourself and then wreck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Check yourself, oh. wreck yourself, then check yourself again, and then wreck your opponents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's it's a it's a bit of an an, an annoying process, but it's worth it, I guess. Yeah, I, apparently. Now look at that next picture. They they oh. gave up on trying to do like a like realistic ish anime, and they decided to go with Chibi because they figured. And this is by far. If I'm gonna fuck the... it up, anyways, might as well yeah. make it look like I did it on purpose. By I was the way, say, this is by far the least egregious looking picture here, and that's only because it's like the most simple one. Yeah. Then again, Matt, look at the left eye. Look at the pupil of the left oh. eye. Ooh. Oh, that's Ooh. not good. No, that's bad. It should not look be at his hand no. again. I'm Once pretty again. sure there's a name for that. Like, let me just look look that up real quick. Uh, like that that looks like a medical condition. Yeah, of uh, some kind. Yeah, there for sure. There are like pupil Ill irregularities, and like you can you can have a torn pupil, and it's real, real fucking gross. Yeah. Um, uh, it's so. Uh, okay, I don't want to look at those anymore. All yeah. right. So what does this represent? Find the one up. One oh. of the. How is this? Find the one up. You gotta. You gotta find a one up in one of those question yeah, mark boxes. The, the, yeah, the oh, hidden. The hidden fight. one up in fucking otherwise. Kaizo blocks with one ups. That's just like taunting you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's bad like I just died because just of the Kaizo, coins. but they had to give me a one up. Like, yeah, it's it's bad enough when they're just coin blocks, but when there's a life in them, it just feels even worse. Right. <clears throat> find the one up. One of the easiest ways to come across as arrogant is in everyday conversations. When someone mm. else tells a story or lists an accomplishment, don't recognize it or congratulate them. Just launch Fuck immediately you. into a related story of your own that's more impressive and spectacular. Oh. Whoa. Well, since Whoa. Matt was the one who needed needed help, uh, Matt, do you mind yeah. if I tell you a quick story and then sure you can try to one up? Uh, so I, uh, oh, let's see. One time, my brother and I went. You stupid motherfucker! <laughs> like I'm gonna listen to your dumb story. Let me tell you about my story. All right. Okay. <laughs> one time, <laughs> I walked down the street. And yeah, it was well, one awesome. time I floated down the street. What you, you stupid God, idiot? What? How? I didn't even. I didn't yeah, even walk. You know, my feet did time, not touch the ground. I'm. Jesus. One time I didn't even go down the street because I was too good for that. I. <laughs> Fuck. Mm. I didn't even you leave my house today. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. That's pretty good. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, yeah. You know, well, I, I haven't mean, left my house in multiple days. God. Well, you know what? I was born in the same house. I'm still in today. I, I haven't even left in. my mother's womb. <laughs> oh, that's... Oh, no. Oh. I no. just called out to her. Hey, Mom, can you toss the mic in here? <laughs> How's the internet <laughs> reception in there? Oh, no. Uh, it's surprisingly good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. No. It's it's all right. Sorry about the background noise. Sorry about the mental image. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. 
God damn it, Bob! Why did he do this to me? Hey, I was born. I was born in Armani. No, you diapers, weren't. Okay? Apparently, you I weren't. I would have been born in Armani diapers, okay, with a trophy oh. in one hand and a whatever in the other. But she decided not to give birth to me because the trophy was too big. Oh, mm-hmm. oh. I don't blame her. Yeah, I mean, I don't either. Ugh. It was a really big trophy. Yeah, huge. <laughs> I just I have it somewhere around here. I'll find that thing. <laughs> find anyway. it later. You have more to read. <clears throat> Your friend just got back from a vacation at the beach. It should probably remind you of that one time you went snorkeling in Malaysia with local fishermen and lived on the beach in a grass hut. Jesus. Man, wow. I mean, there's you one up in the just life. making shit up. I, th- I thought you weren't supposed to lie. I mean, you know. I don't know if that's a lie. Yeah, I mean, that's not necessarily, that's not, I mean, come on. You know, they live a really interesting life. <laughs> yeah. You never know. <sighs> yeah. If you teach your friend how to do something, you can tell them that you learned how to do it in a few seconds, or however shorter than theirs might be. This oh, will probably make them feel less superior, and feel they can never do things as soon as you can. Oh. Ugh. So you're, you're, okay, so you're, be, I mean, congrats, I suppose, on being helpful for once. I guess, You're, you're yeah. being helpful, and then, you, you know, I don't know. Being I, a douche you know, immediately after. Yeah, like, 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 like Bob, for example, teaches me how to do some, some image editing in, in, like, GIMP or whatever. Right. And then the first thing he says as soon as I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. He says, I'll be like, yeah, yeah I, I got it as soon as I saw it, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, you needed me to teach you, but I just picked it up instantly. Like, I instantly knew where all the options mm-hmm. and, and yeah. stuff were. I knew before they had even Im- implemented those options. Some of them I even I implemented knew- myself. <laughs> yeah, before you even told me about them. I yeah, knew I it hadn't even heard of even- GIMP. <laughs> and I was already an expert. Yeah. Like, I didn't even have God. to use GIMP before yeah. I was already the best at GIMP. Back, back I didn't before start I started GIMP using GIMP, GIMP because it's a little it. easier. It, you know, before before we started using GIMP for the steel donut thumbnails, I used to just think of the thumbnail and then plug my brain directly into my computer. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. it would just upload from there. God. <laughs> anyway. Uh, it's part with three, that we have, step one. We, with that, we have walked the walk and talked to the talk. Yeah. So part three. Staying respectable. I mean, you. I mean, you've lost all my respect at this point. But sure. Here we yeah. are. Three out of three. We got this. Shh. Yeah, we can do this. Shh. Who comes first? Shh. Oh, sorry. Shh. Why is this? What does it have to do with this step? I believe this person is showing us that they have the longest index finger in the world. I believe this person is showing us oh, that they, their, like, their index fingers turn into a sword. <laughs> Look, Look at that razor-sharp no. Would you like some butter? Sharp... Like, <laughs> Let me just spread this on my toast. Yeah, You're using your fingers. Somebody. Yes, I know. <laughs> Wait, that's your finger? <laughs> You're, you mean you not holding a bread knife? Oh my Don't God, make me no. shank a bitch. You need to get that looked at. <laughs> E-T- I don't need. E-T phone I don't home, need a. Sh- dude. I don't need a shiv to shiv a bitch. Yeah, but this is somehow supposed to mean, be respectful of those who command respect. Mm. Never talk down to people you truly value or respect. I value what you can do for me. <laughs> the purpose of being arrogant is to tone down or silence your critics or those who are a little bit more happy with themselves than they should be. Oh. Wow. You're not allowed to be happy because I'm not happy is well, what no, this no. sounds like. You're to not me. allowed to be happy more happy with yourself than you should be. And if you just let me just quickly arrogance definition. Let me just Google that. <clears throat> the quality of being arrogant. Oh, sorry. Arrogant definition, right? You look that up. Having or revealing an exaggerated sense of one's own importance or abilities. Hmm, so being, sounds like being more happy with yourself than you should be. So basically you're saying the point of being arrogant is to put down other arrogant people. Yes? 
sounds very self-defeating, honestly. Sounds mm. very dumb, honestly. Well, you know what, Matt? You're dumb! <gasps> How could you? You No, you're, you're supposed to have a quick comeback! Oh, shit. You're dumb! <laughs> That's not no. You we'll work on it. We'll work on it. Yeah, we'll we'll work on this. I feel I feel like no matter what we're doing, I'm just not arrogant enough. No, Matt, you <laughs> aren't. <laughs> <laughs> we both know you're not. <laughs> I feel like I feel like this is gonna be the end of us. This fucking article is gonna kill us. <laughs> this article is going to cause us to break up. After this, the only people in the, left in the still done up will be Connor and Blake, simply because <laughs> they weren't the here for this. Blake show. Yeah, yeah exactly. The 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 uh, we'll just have X's over our faces on the uh, channel banner. <laughs> <laughs> these ones are gone. Yeah, these stupid idiots are gone. <laughs> what a bunch uh, of bakas. Yeah, baka <clears throat> fuckers. It is also one means of keeping a workplace enthralled with you. But it can backfire. Enthralled. It's probably enthralled. Yeah, you're going to have them as your, I, I guess, slaves. as your mind-controlled slaves. Yeah. yeah. Dude, you're like a vampire. It's, or a yeah. shadowling. Mm -hmm. It's probably best to never act super arrogant around your boss, coaches, your parents, service staff, or dates. Okay, this is the part where you're gonna see, you're gonna you're gonna imagine in your mind because I'm not gonna edit this in. And then the <laughs> thing earlier that I told you to lodge in your memory, where I where I said never give credit yep. to your coaches or your the people who yep. helped you, right? Uh -huh. That's where that mm -hmm. comes back, right? Because oh, they're not supposed know? to act super arrogant around them. But the second they leave the room, you're like, yeah, he didn't help me at all. I did it all by myself. Also, it's your boss coaches he your parents. Actually, I get that, actually, right? I get actually, why they're saying don't be super arrogant around those people. Yeah. Service staff, right? I, I thought the point of arrogance was that you're like, you're better than people. And service staff I, are the people you're supposed to feel like you're better than. Right? Even though like, you're not. Don't right? talk to the wait staff kind of thing, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm exactly. not saying being arrogant is a good thing. I'm just saying no, that kind of comes with the territory. And like... What happened to having a magnetic edge that attracts the ladies on dates? Yeah, or are you just you supposed to attract them to you, but not ask them out? Hmm. Ouch. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how any of this works. Oh, God, Maybe it doesn't. Quick. Oh, that's that's a good point there, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Hmm. Just in case you were wondering. Yeah. It in case you came you know is in case you came to this video and you got this far in <laughs> and you were looking for advice on how to be arrogant, go fuck yourself. <laughs> well that's how you, you know step what? one, go wow. fuck do, yourself. Do, 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 step two do, do. Bob, Bob, you gotta always use manners to your advantage. Come on. That's the next step. You gotta that, tip your hat at people and go, it's high noon. Okay, first of all, <laughs> you gotta tip yeah, your hat and be like, m'lady. I mean, I was thinking either it's high noon, m'lady, or that's an Amish guy in a bathrobe. <laughs> the time oh. is 12 o'clock, oh. m'lady. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, is it is the middle of time. the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at that. It's midday. <laughs> M'lady. M'lady. <laughs> There's a fine line between arrogance and being a straight-up jerk. We crossed that a long time ago. Yeah. I mean, you crossed that actually we crossed isn't... crossed that in the first step. Isn't, isn't arrogance the line Yeah, that arrogance being crossed? Is, is the line. Yeah, it goes, it goes <laughs> self-respect to the line that's called arrogance, and then straight-up jerk is everything after that. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Being, arrogance is the line. Yeah. Being arrogant does not mean being rude and forgetting basic manners and etiquette around others, m'lady. Fuck you, that's what it was up there! Besides, <laughs> basic manners serve as the means by which you maintain your aloofness and keep others distant others distant in a society, in a socially acceptable so, so, way, m'lady. Yeah. You m never m talk down to wait staff or other service workers and... What the fuck? It's the last <laughs> step! In the interest of cultivating your arrogance, m'lady... This makes, oh, wait. <laughs> this will make sin this will make you look weak, petty, and immature to the well, ladies. It's 
<laughs> Actually, I, I take back what I just said because they said don't be arrogant around service staff. Yeah, see? Yeah. But but that's not that's arrogant. Yeah. Well, this not next, being arrogant. This next thing that they said. Forgetting someone's name might look like a good way to take them down a peg. That is wow. a fucking douche thing to do. Well, no, no, well, But it yeah, makes you well, look like a we, real jerk, unlike everything else on this article. What? Yeah. Wait, you're, you're supposed to give to the people, people tasks. who are dumb enough. You're talking to people who are dumb enough to... Okay. You're um, supposed to give people tasks that they will fail, but you're not supposed to forget your na- their name. Yeah, that'll make you look like a jerk. Always remember their names, their faces, and their weaknesses. That's such <laughs> a fucking, like, that is the most hypocritical you know thing I think I've ever you know read. What? You know what? You know what? It's like, keep your friends close. Keep your enemies closer. Keep your victims the closest. Yeah. No, it's keep keep your friends close, your enemies closer, and your victims in the ground. Yeah, and your victims oh. six feet under, like that dog. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fucking dog. Why are you yeah. still crying? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you still crying about that? Your dog is dead. Respect people <laughs> respect people enough to treat them with common dignity, like when you kill their dog. Up yeah. to the point where you dominate them in the competition of dog killing. It's a competition yeah. you made. You're the best at it. Their dog right. never stood a chance. Your dog, dog never stood... <laughs> that dog didn't kill any dogs. Yeah, You've killed dog... five. <laughs> yeah, how many dogs has that dog killed? None. How many have you killed? All of them? Yeah. All the dogs are dead because of me, my lady. My lady. It's like they didn't even know they were in the competition. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the co- the competition known as survival. Dog, dog killing. Yeah, dog killing competition. <laughs> yeah, that's what mm-hmm. it is. Uh, next step. Uh, oh, we need to stop, I guess. What? We need to stop. That's oh. what the picture tells me. Oh, uh, Actually, the picture tells me, what the fuck is wrong with her hand and arm? No, no, no. What you don't understand is it's hard to wrap your mind around. How are they? How because, are they crushing? Because are that's they? God. Oh, how God is unfathomable. I so, feel so and he, can he she, so God it, can whatever God is going. Hold on, you mortal bitch. You're an asshole. <laughs> You're a but, douche. Okay, can we just? Can we just point out that those fingers are just crushing in on each other? God can do that. Yeah. Uh, Top ten things okay. God can do. Number nine. <laughs> that. Number nine. <laughs> Whatever that. that is. Whatever this thing is. Number eight. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good step. God damn it. That's a good top ten list. Yeah, it starts with number nine. <laughs> Screw Attack presents top ten things God can do. <laughs> number nine. That would be Screw Attack. They would make that list. Yeah. <laughs> and then they would become irrelevant. Uh, More than they already are? Well, I mean, that's... I imagine they made the video in, like, 2005. Oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. Know your limits. If you claim to be superior in an area in which you lack the skills or expertise, your arrogance will fall apart and lose its effect. Damn. You'll just yeah, look we like talked a about... fool. You'll look like a flippin' moron. Yeah! I pity the fool who doesn't know <laughs> their limits. You'll look like a doggone baka. <laughs> <laughs> you baka fucker. You baka flipper. <laughs> Make sure to avoid conflicts and confrontations, <laughs> any competition in which you don't have at least a sporting chance of winning. Again, oh, dog wow. killing competitions are fair game. Yeah, dude, you'll win those. Those in a are heartbeat. those are a go. Mm. It's good to learn to lose, so you don't end up looking like a crybaby after a close loss. Yeah, learn to lose with dignity, because yeah. no matter how arrogant your self image, it's going to happen eventually. Unless you only challenge children and dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Especially dogs. They have no chance <laughs> of winning. Especially dogs. Yeah. Yeah, you could you could try to teach you could try to have a counting contest or a killing contest with them. Yeah. Dogs They're gonna lose. <laughs> like seriously. Dude, you know what's you know what's crazy? Dogs can't even speak. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude. You could have a spelling bee with a dog and he wouldn't even stand a chance. What a pussy. He can't even spell a single word. He's a dog. I guess you, you could call him, him back. a he bitch. Can't, he can't even spell the word dog. Yeah. 
I guess you could call Mean- them all bitches. <laughs> Meanwhile, I can perfectly spell the word human. Yeah. Which is H-U-M-E-N. spelled W M E N. Human. Human. <laughs> now, look at this picture. Oh, that Ooh. picture. Going for like maybe yep. a chibi thing, but like what the fuck what? is going on with her arm? Arm. arm. Like, it's it's bursting out of the sleeve. Here's what I was thinking. Maybe she doesn't have an arm on either side, but she's got a little stump on the right side, and she's wearing, like, like a pink Hulk fist on the stump. (laughs) Just, like, on there. Huh? That's a lot what it looks Mm. like, yeah. But she's also real smug about it. Well, I mean, of course she is. What else are you going to do? When you got yellow eyes... He's got to be airy. I mean, when you have yellow eyes, Mm -hmm. you are allowed to be pretty smug. Have you ever seen Morrigan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, hell. Yeah. (sighs) Anyway, that that, that is first step four. Live up to the hype. Uh I mean, that that looks like a lot of hype, I guess. Yeah, got to be your hype man. Yeah. If, I mean, if she is my hype man, I'm gonna go just go the other way and be like, nah. Wow, are you are you ableist right now? Yeah, come on, dude. <laughs> I can be way, way more ableist than you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most ableist here. <laughs> oh, arrogance <laughs> should be a type of self improvement. What? That's not what arrogance is. No. Um, you'll never self improve if you go around being arrogant. I'm just saying it right there. Just right yeah. there now. Yep, just gonna mm-hmm. go ahead and you know, get dispose of that little myth. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good job, Matt. You did, you, you did that really well. Thank yeah. you. No, no, Matt. No, you did it wrong, Matt. You have oh. to say no. That's nothing. Like, yeah. come on. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> if we <laughs> diss nothing. you, you have a sw- swag comeback. If you, if, if we compliment you, you've <laughs> got to be like, no, that was nothing. Okay. Yeah. Let's try exactly. again. Well, it's too late now. It's too late, you idiot. <laughs> no, you're supposed to have a comeback. <laughs> oh, man, I feel like I'm not getting anything out of this guide. You're not. You're too dumb. Yeah, well, you know who's dumb? Fuck you. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. There we go. See, I made a comeback. Oh, finally. Yeah. He learns. Mm-hmm. Huh. Think of Michael Jordan and Steve Jobs, arrogant people who came, saw, and conquered. You know, like like Julius Kaiser. No, yeah. can I can I just real quick say, uh, who's yeah. better at living than Steve Jobs? Everyone alive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, look how <laughs> far that got him. He's dead. Yeah. He's fucking dead. <laughs> wow. Way wow. to go, Steve. Yeah. Come on, wow. Steve. Yeah. <laughs> if that's even your <laughs> real name. Real name. You're like what? Oh. More like Not Steve me. dead. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Come on, Bob. That's amazing. He doesn't have a job, he's dead. What are you crying about? <laughs> <laughs> that seems rather arrogant of you, Bob. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. But I haven't yeah. even gotten started being arrogant. Oh. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so you th- so think of arrogant people who came, saw, and conquered. Not the arrogance of has-beens, you know, mm. like Steve Jobs. Yeah, since Steve he, Jobs. Since yeah he what a has been. been a li- <laughs> he has been alive. He has been alive. <laughs> he is dead. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Welcome I to the Steel Donut now. Offensive Hour. Hi, I'm Hell? Bob. I'm the offensive one. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. I feel bad. I feel bad. I do too. <laughs> God damn it. I'm going to just break character real quick and say that I feel really bad. It's it's okay. Yeah. You did it. You did it for a good cause. You did it I to did point it out. I did it for a how... goof, but it just made me feel terrible. You did it to show off how awful this article was. So you... <laughs> Oh my God! All right, let's just—we're—we're we're almost we're, we're getting pretty close. Let's just let's just go. That said, <laughs> fuck Steve dead. Oh my God, Bob! <laughs> Let your arrogant image of yourself motivate you and force you to new heights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
always do what you say you will do. You've got to live up to the hype that you set for yourself, or you'll just come off like an ego-inflated loser, yeah. just like any other. All bogger. people are ego-inflated losers. Mm -hmm. yeah. When it's your turn on the field of competition, bring it. Bring the field. Yeah, bring the field. Yeah, bring yeah, it's the your field. Turn to bring, bring the field. I mean, yeah, how are we going to play ball bring... if we don't have a field? You were supposed to bring it. What the it. hell? You were supposed to bring the field. <laughs> Man, I brought the ball. We have nothing to play he ball brought the on. gloves. You were supposed to bring the field. We can't play here. There's a building here. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you so You're... bad at this? <laughs> How are we supposed to play baseball without a fucking field? We can't play here. The ball will just hit the building and break the windows. <laughs> we can't even get in. Security won't let us in. <laughs> We're going to lose so many balls. We're going to lose this game. We're not going to be able to play it. That means an automatic loss. We're going to lose the game. <laughs> oh, you just threw and away the season. Uh, you friggin' dingus. Yeah, this is why it. this is why we don't trust Connor to bring the field. You block a <laughs> strawberry. Wow. Mm. Uh, oh boy, we get the stair. Well, the ladder, ladder to to a cloud. Ladder from heaven. Yeah, from heaven. That's your way to God is saying, "See ya." No, it's, no, it's you that, are saying see ya because you're too good for this oh, man. place. It's oh, that right. classic song by that classic band, Stay Away From Heaven, you know? Yeah, yeah Ladder Stay from Away Heaven. From yeah. heaven. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure, didn't Steve Jobs at one, he got to heaven and he was like, hey, <laughs> is this heaven? And God was like, yep, this is heaven. And he was like, okay. Yeah. It's like, what, you, is something wrong? I don't know, I just expected it to be, like, better. Like, more colorful. Like, yeah. Like, like what do I do? Just like, push clouds all day? It's like, yeah, but, like, it's fun. Like, you can do whatever you want with the clouds. It's like, just clouds, though? Like, I made clouds. Just, I made the iCloud. <laughs> like, bring it. I you bring know what, God? Maybe, maybe I should make an eye heaven, because clearly you're just not up to the top. Right, and then God was like, wow. Really? Wow. Like, you're doing what this right now? And he's just like, <laughs> where? how do I get out of here? Where's the ladder out of here? Yeah, a ladder I'm, from I'm, heaven. I'm outie, okay? <laughs> Alrighty, well, find new ladders to climb, the final step. It's mm -hmm. possible for a lot of arrogant people to end up, like, 30... What? Oh, never mind, I see. It's Jesus. possible for a lot of arrogant people to end up, like, 30-year-olds hanging out at the parking lot of a high school they graduated from, talking about glory day, the glory Jesus. days. Jesus! Picking what up, the fuck is this? That nice is the saddest thing I've ever heard. Picking up those nice <laughs> high school girls, you know, putting them in their van. Oh no! He don't want to be one of those. That's like a hundred, like that's like a hundred percent sadder than Drax. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, is it though? Drax doesn't really have much of a high. At least school he doesn't go back to high school to brag about because the glory days. Because he doesn't days to have the glory schoolers. days in high school to go back to. Yeah, but at least he doesn't go back and talk about it to high schoolers. He stays I mean, at home. Fair point. I guess fair that's point. true. Um, where was I? Don't be one of those losers. Keep finding new ladders to climb and challenges to face. I thought you said don't do stuff that's hard. No, no, no. They said beat up children, right? That's what I yeah. got. <laughs> yeah. Kill dogs, beat up children, make fun of dead people. <laughs> to face and ways to improve yourself. Mm -hmm. After winning a championship, do the Jordan move and try out baseball. You know nobody liked that Jordan did that, right? Yeah. Like, nobody was happy with Michael Jordan playing baseball. Aim to be the best at something, <laughs> some other related field. After you dominate you the world of industry, your... what? After you dominate the world of industry, become the best fly fisherman you can be. How is that related? Yeah, not. Set endless goals and meet them. Fuck. You know what? I thought that article. at the beginning. You know what? I'm gonna scroll up because I need to check this. But didn't it say at the beginning that you had to? Try and be the best at things you're already sort of good at, or something yes, like. Yes, yeah, that was like one of the few s decent steps. Yeah, like, and now they're saying no. After that, you know, once you have reached the top, which I guess you can do. Not really depends. You need to go to this thing that has nothing to do with you just accomplished and just try that. Yeah. You know, li like Michael Jordan. Oh man, look how people enjoy that one. Yeah. 
I mean, he's <sighs> really good at advertising for underwear. Yeah. I mean, he's just, real good at yeah. that. Yep. Mm. Tips. Tips. We have some tips. Real arrogance, tip. when applied properly, gives the impression of your perceived sense of superiority, wealth, and achievement <laughs> without discussing it. It simply exudes. Ooh. Your perceived sense, because you don't have any actual superiority, wealth, or achievements. I really like how many degrees of separation we get from arrogance. Like, it's real arrogance, <laughs> applied properly, impression, perceived sense. Yeah. Nice. Oh, God, you're right. It's the impression of your perceived sense. Right. What the hell? Why can't it just be a sense? It gives the sense of... Superiority, wealth, yeah. and achievement. Yeah. That would work way better. That would at least make it sound like you actually have some sort of superiority or wealth or right. achievement. Instead of, like... The impression of the perception of it. Exactly. I mean, what else are you going to have? I mean, you can have a dead dog. A nothing. Y yeah. Or a beat up child. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is assuming you're like me. Or n near me. I kill dogs. <laughs> I feel like that's a good, that's a good way to end this. <laughs> well... I mean, we still have more tips, uh, though. See, yeah. uh, the thing is, is I'm way too good to read these tips, okay? But you losers aren't way too oh, good shit. to read these Oh, shit. He's tips. too good for us, is what he's saying. Yeah. He All right, guys. This was pretty good. Wow. Uh, I'm going to have to bow asshole. and be arrogant somewhere now. He wow, he actually did leave. That's Well, after he Matt just, just showed bounced. us that he... He just... Yeah. He, like, literally wow. left. Yeah, he's not kidding. He actually left. Amazing. Wow. Dedication to the bit. Well, I I mean I guess he I I I mean he learned that's good right I guess I, I'm, I'm actually I'm actually thinking that's that, that that's that not might good. not have been so good no no well let's get anyway to the let's tips and warnings. yeah let's let's finish this oh up. no so if he had left Americans... before the war he left before the warnings shit oh shit no oh but we gotta damn. get through the tips first yeah. Arrogance is best used with sarcasm or some otherwise cutting remark which does not dispute the statements of others but uses wordplay to turn other people's words against them. So you want me to... to quote mine? Be, be a douche. Just, what? I mean... This might mean you have to work hard at increasing your repertoire of comebacks, witty sayings, and sarcastic quips. I mean, I tr I try to be I try to be witty and have sarcastic quips and stuff, but like, that doesn't make me arrogant. What makes me arrogant is the fact that I kill dogs. Yeah, and like children. No, you. I mean, you. I hope you you keep the children alive. You just beat them. <sighs> Make an example of the weakest links, Yella. Oh, shit. Where do you think You're Matt's right. going? Oh, no. <laughs> He's gonna kill his sister. No. I'm no? just... I, I just... I've pretended to be his mom, calling him away. I probably <laughs> shouldn't be revealing my plans on recording, now that I think about it. No. You... Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> no, shit, Matt. I'll leave it there. It was... He um, was too sweet for this world. Being arrogant is different from boasting your achievements or material wealth. How? Arrogant people do not need to broadcast the common achievements of life. But that's what the entire but article was about. You, yeah, the article is like boast, brag, brag, boast. <laughs> humble brag, brag, boast, No, boast, no, don't boast, humble boast. brag. Arrogant brag. Oh, right, no. Asshole Arrogant brag. brag. Just, I mean, just outright brag. brag. Yeah. Just outright brag. <laughs> God damn it. Being the best at everything is too much work, so boast your superiority strictly in areas where you cannot be challenged. I'm better at praying this... than you. Whoa. Can you, this can you challenge me in that? <laughs> well, I mean... I, I'm better I, at thinking I... of naked women than you. Um, well, I mean, that depends on the quality nope. of said naked women. Doesn't and... depend on that. You can't challenge me on this. Okay. I'm the best at what I do. <laughs> well, what you do is shit. Hey. Hey. You're dumb. Anyway. 
<laughs> this means being focused on what you are really good at. Looking at me. Okay. And then we have the warnings that Matt never got. Rest yeah. his poor soul. Yeah, we'll we'll see if we'll see if these would have saved him. Some people may not like you and think you're a show off. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, people might not I thought... like an arrogant person? I actually thinking about it, wasn't it said earlier in one of the steps that um that uh you that this doesn't matter because arrogant people don't care about this. That's true. Yeah. Who cares? Okay. Wow, that warning was pointless. Who? Close call. Who? And then you are only trying to climb up on the backs of those whom you do not trust or otherwise do not like. Wow. Do not do the same around family, friends, or valued work colleagues. Oh no! I... All this time I've been dissing you and Matt when you guys are valued work colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, we're, <laughs> we're just, just driving home the we're coworkers. coworkers. <laughs> Shit! Yeah, you're only supposed to do this to people who you do not like, which is still a really big asshole. I mean, I mean you're still a big thing. douche if you do that to people you don't uh, like. Yeah. But, oh damn! God damn it! And, fa- and Matt, Matt did that as well when he left. Oh no! He saved it. Oh no! Oh no! Damn! It would Damn. seem that being arrogant was our downfall. Huh. Hubris came before the fall. <laughs> Hubris, my worst enemy. Huh. 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 Well, huh. Hashtag makes you think. <laughs> well, <laughs> on that bombshell, I think it's time to end. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, if you liked this video... And you like our stuff, you might subscribe, maybe. Or if you don't, that's okay too. It doesn't really matter. And you could also, uh, if you want to hang out with us, we have a public Discord, and like uh, we we're on there all the time. And uh, we also have an amino down yeah. there, but we're not on that as much. But you can still go join if you want. <laughs> I don't really care. <laughs> and fun. I hope and and I hope you learned something today. Yeah. I hope you. I, I actually do hope you learn the the thing. Don't be an the, the right. Asshole. Like, come on. Yeah, please, please, come on, guy, come on. Rip in peace, Steve Jobs. <laughs> and those dogs. And those children. <laughs>